Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna let you go. I've got this movie review thing to do. What is it? Um, I think it's Forrest Gump. Yeah, okay. All right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, Jen, what are you- <gasps> Belinda, Ugh. life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna throw up. Chan, did you eat this entire box of chocolates? I've, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh my god. And on a day we've got to be filming too? Mm -mm. No, we'll, we'll have to postpone. I, I can't film like this. Oh, oh no. You make me film when I don't want to. You're gonna film now. No! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to the newest episode of The Oscar Goes To. I'm Jan Michael. And I'm Melinda. And today's Oscar Goes To... Forrest Gump. Let's begin. Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. It's funny what a young man recollects. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different. Well, Melinda, this is your first time watching Forrest Gump, so please let our audiences know, what did you think of the movie? I actually like this movie. Um, again, it's the first time that I've ever seen it. I've always seen references to it in cartoons and movies. Um, it's a nice little story about a guy and his life, basically the extraordinary things that happened to him. Um, he's played by Tom Hanks, who I really like Tom Hanks as an actor in general. Um, I think I like him a little bit more now. I feel like the part that he played was done very well. Um, I don't feel like it was offensive in any way. Um, he portrayed the person how it was written. Um, the other character that I liked in this movie was uh, Bubba. He was uh, probably my favorite character for as little time as he was on the screen. But I would say that this is the first movie we've seen where I actually like the entire cast as a whole. Yes, this is a very entertaining movie and thus it's very hard to dislike it. I mean, you, you really have to try to just not get any enjoyment whatsoever. Uh, and it has a very 90s feel to it that you just don't get anymore. Uh, I really think of uh, movies like The Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile uh, in terms of this kind of wholesome feel to it. Uh, and again, you just you don't feel that anymore. Uh, it was very much a 90s feel and I, I enjoyed it. I, en I enjoy those type of films. Uh, and so I agree with you. I think Tom Hanks did an amazing job with this performance. It wasn't offensive. Um, I don't believe anybody even today is, is going back and talking about how insensitive of a, of a, of a portrayal it is. Uh, at least not that I know of. So I think that that just goes to show how how much the movie is liked and how much the character is liked. Uh, so yeah, I think we're all, we're on the same page here. It's just a very enjoyable film. And as enjoyable as this movie is, as you just said, um, this is the first movie that I've seen you not talk about anything that sounded like it was really special. Um, I kind of noticed that about this movie too, as nice of a story as it is and as like telling a tale and there's this little bit of a sad part at the end um, to someone passes away and you kind of feel for him, you know, giving a monologue of, you know, like of grief. Um, there's nothing about it that makes it seem like a very particularly special movie. Um, it's funny. It does have funny moments. And again, it's good story, but there's nothing that stood out about it to me, which is weird for an Oscar winner. 
Yeah, and you know, nowadays you'll always find a, a film at the Oscars that's the feel-good movie. Like, you always get that movie along the lineup. And, yeah, th this film right here is kind of like the feel-good movie, but I don't know if the Oscars were the same back then as they are now in terms of always nominating that type of film. Uh, if not, then yeah, you're right. This is kind of a rare exception where the movie itself is just entertaining and, and it's a feel-good film and it's it's wholesome uh, but you're right it, it doesn't feel like it does anything like extraordinary and maybe that's what makes it so remarkable like because you just you know you could sit down and just have a good time with the movie you don't really start thinking to yourself oh this is gonna get awards this is gonna get nominated for this it's just a, f a fun movie to sit back and enjoy and maybe that's all that was needed that year in order to make it into the Oscars. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it went on to win a bunch of awards and, you know, we're talking about it today. And people, even if it hadn't won, I think people would still be talking about it today just because uh, it, it didn't make such a big splash in culture back then. Uh, I guess if I had to talk about anything negative, it's, it's weird, but I would have to also say just... It's just a fine movie. It's an enjoyable movie, but like we were just talking about it, it doesn't do anything extraordinary. Yeah. And I don't know, it's like a double-edged sword. Like it's it's a great thing, but also I don't know. It, it, in that regard, it's hard to to tell people who haven't seen the movie, who don't know anything about it to be like, "No, no, it, it's a good movie. It's just about this guy's life and it's like fantastical and, and and things like that and there's nothing really there to sell it um, i mean because what do you call it a comedy or a drama or it kind of fits in all of them yeah. but again without those big selling points it makes it hard to describe it to people without giving it away yeah um, and then who wants to hear a movie about a guy who has all these fantastical adventures of their greedy life, you know? Yeah. Uh, for me personally, I, I like those type of films. I like films like this, like The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, where you see people's lives and where life takes them. Um, I, I've always been a fan of that because it always makes me think about my life and where I am at that particular moment. So I am a fan of this one. And I mean, I could wholeheartedly recommend this one to, to anybody. Again, I can't think of anyone who would it like it to some degree? I mean, yeah, I'd recommend to watch it, but we're asking really, is it worth the Oscar, right? Yeah, we gotta ask that question. Do you think, uh, do you think it should have won the Oscar? And can you recommend this movie to today's audiences? Or do you think it's a product that, that is something that only people back then liked? Like I said, I would recommend it. It was a good movie. You won't feel bad, you waste, like wasted time watching it. Um, but should it have won the Oscar? I don't see why it did, only because, again, there wasn't that particularly special of anything in it. And I heard it was against a few movies like um, The Shawshank Redemption. Um, I've not seen that movie, but I've heard fantastic things about it. So just based on what I've heard on that and seen on this, um, I don't think that it should have won against such a popular movie with such deep um, message in it. I'm on board with it not being my first choice for it to win the Oscar. Uh, you're right, you have things like The Shawshank Redemption or my favorite movie of all time, Pulp Fiction, which definitely should have won the Oscar that year. Uh, that being said, uh, I could still wholeheartedly recommend this movie. Again, you're just, it's really hard to find anything to fault the movie on. Uh, even the things that you feel people today would get pissed off at haven't really been pissed off at, so... I, I think I think all signs of a film that's gonna stand the test of time. It, it, it kind of already has in a way, uh, but I think, you know, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, uh, people could definitely look back and, and still really enjoy this movie. The world will never seem the same once you've seen it through the eyes of Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get.
Uh, another episode done. You know, I think we're actually making really good progress on these. Yeah. I, I, um, hmm. What's wrong? <laughs> you know, I, I think the door's locked from the inside? <laughs> <laughs> what? Woo! Foolish! Foolish, Jan! D Damien? <laughs> what, what, where are you? What, what are you doing? I figured out your tricks! Your <laughs> abilities! <laughs> Damien, Damien, I mean, I thought we were cool! I mean, we don't want to... You don't need oh, to do this! Oh, cool! Oh, no! No, no, Jan! <laughs> I can't believe it was that easy! Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. It's time for a little what we call <laughs> revenge. <laughs>